uh, so it's gonna be faceless void clockwork probably and ace might lose his curry here but Oops. illusion though might lose his life for it so definitely Follow and also his curry he must use the early on chessy on the chessy cares he's gonna go top now sees 19 teen and with three heroes they're gonna die of this pitiful level four drown killer or fan scores are gonna try and help the cookie but maybe you get some vengeance on misery 19 teen should still be going down though there's death to inevitability and now van score is stuck here without reinforcements the blocks coming in from chessy they'll definitely get the kill on a snap fire as well yeah very nice rotation there from chessy first he had long tp that does mean gpk is now alone in the top lane you be a little bit careful with three heroes here from five men and make that four as chessy arrives gpk is gonna die they create more and more and, transfer uh, in there. Jesus. Five men are, are making a lot of these kind of nice rotations here with the with the Nature's Prophets. And uh... his net worth is being hurt a little bit. Like the difference, Chessie has 700 gold up on him, but that is a good kill. They find the faces void in the bot lane. Zebe does arrive, wants to punish BZZ, but he has no mana. That's the problem here. Yeah. All of a sudden, Zebe needs to be careful because GPK has come to this bot lane looking for kills. Is we seen, Avatos, and he gone. Yeah, and Stibbe might also potentially be in trouble here, as he does not really have any mana. No, it's probably they know. Game is up. Put the toss in four seconds to throw out the avalanche. Chase in. Cookie to hop right on top of him and play with the Kunku's face. And then pound it. Yeah, so it's quirky. You can't really see him in the dead lane, whereas Phoenix has a bit more survivability to him. Not like this, though. Cookie. Forcing out the dive. BZZ is going to chase forward. Ash will step through and Remnant. And will clean up this third. Chrono, mid. On the illusion. Not the big drought kill they're looking for. And they don't even get him. He's got the disruption. All of a second, uh, sudden you have to retreat. Chessie hit up by the purge. And the hunt is on. They will have the damage to bring down the nature's prophet. Meanwhile, BZZ. Stand by here. Decides to move away as soon as Palade walks up though. Yeah, and these two. Five men from not just the Midas perspective, but the split push perspective. And now a fight's gonna happen. CB in the mid lane did not even get the bow out. And the disruption stopped the dive away from Misery. He's in trouble. He's trapped by his own illusion. The perfect spot he gets found, forcing out the egg. The Chrono's gonna go down, but they can clean up the egg in time. And they won't even be able to get the kill on the Van Score. He's able to move away the Yules into the Remnant setup, followed by the Gust. Ace needs to run away. Pilot will zone them out. BZZ will be brought down. So it's a triple kill for Chessie in the end. The Wrath of Nature damage too high. And he's hunting. He sees more. He wants more. 19 team. A little bit too deep. They can't decide which way they want to go. This is going to come out, force away the Drow. Now the Bash is onto Illusion. Might be enough to kill him off. The Dive is going to backfire quickly, though. And Pilot die. He's going to do exactly that. I mean, it's 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 all in the name, right? He knows, but yeah. I mean, that that looked like yeah, it, also the initial. It dies in the end, but they still kind of lose a lot of heroes. Yeah, it was. I mean, it was really on Seabay with that raffinage. The damage output really saved the day in that situation. And now, 19 team in trouble. Kiss is gonna zone them away though. Ace has got the time walk, and there's the hook shot in and drop the snap bar. Yules into remnant. Boats coming through to try and save Ace. Up in the air, and he's gone though. There is no saving this man. Now, Xibay himself needs to run away. Not sure if he can, though. With the purge on top of him, he knows death is also an inevitability for him as well. Let's not find even more value in this mid lane. And now, Team Unique should be able to find that tier 1 tower as there's no one left from five men. And it looks like Pilot Die is just going to do that. Once more. Uh, I mean, not sure what he's hoping for with the hook shot. Ace throws out the chrono, though. In onto GPK. Changes his mind straight on Illusion, though. The science comes out. Find enough time, the egg will go down, which will force 19 teen to cut and run. GPK does blink out in time. TP away, but the first hit fast from Ace will be able to kill him off. And on the side, they found Van Score with the X. He did use the kisses to no avail. The torrent will ensure there is no escape. And looks like Drow is at least able to get out, so they minimize the casualties on the big targets. BCC does yoink a rune before leaving as well. <laughs> and the Wukongs, that was That was something. I'll say that much. Purge. <laughs> TB's found. The bow is not going to be there in time. Or is it? He gets through, but the damage is already done. On the side, Palai Dai just has to run away. Yeah, meanwhile, though... The Chrono is going to be available soon. If they can pick off either the Phoenix or the Faces Void, it could be different, though. Yules, the clockwork. 
A lot of damage done. The Sans follow up ensures that he has no response to the die. Ace goes in though. He's looking for the Chronos. Ready in three seconds. The cookie. Eh, we're going to kind of against what the overall idea was for 1910. Ace is going to go in towards the illusion. He knows he needs to snipe him out first, but Glimmer Cape will protect him. BZZ, however, dies due to that time dilation. And Ace decides not to go deeper. It's not worth it just for the Shadow Demon kill. They've stopped them from taking Roche. That's the most important thing here. A little smoke. Drow might be in trouble here. Catch him. Chrono's going to be there. Turns on the fan score instead. X is going to come out to drag that one back. Well, the turnaround disruption to save the drought for the moment. The fan score's already gone. 19 T sized up. It's going to hurricane pike down the low ground. Look for the TPO. The hook shot off the mark. And the TPO just about succeeds. Misery. Not quick enough with the Meteor Hammer. Yeah, very nice clutch save there from from the fact that they won't be moving back to cooldown on, on these pulses. It won't be moving, you know, if you have one or two. That's right. I think it, it's not going to be refreshing. Illusion, even though the hook shot doesn't connect, I mean, it's not enough to kill him. And all of a sudden, you need to be careful for turnaround. BCC's controlling them up. Took a lot of damage initially. The kiss is coming through. The pipe should offset the damage that might kill him. But Pylai Dai will go down due to the purge. Molly shot through. Ace, far away from having a chrono opportunity, will retreat. BCC, we'll have to deal with the frustration of T-Bay somewhat with the X on the spot. Chessie's able to get away. GPK. Oof. If he goes in a second sooner, Ace being extremely greedy, by the way. Oh, dodges out the gust, actually. Yules is going to be there into the remnant, but he's tanking up the damage. Time lies been thrown out. Manta dodge and moves forward. They just don't see the target they want. 19 team was quick to back up there. Van score is going to be slowed on his retreat by the X. They don't want to hard commit for a snap fire kill. It's not worth it. DPK, however, he says, I'm going to commit on that. Because eBay dragged even deeper as he's tossed towards the Drow's location. Now Ace trying to go for the Chrono. The Yule's going to come out again to interrupt him. No chance to throw it out. Kunga's controlled up in the meantime by the remnants, and Ace has to retreat here. Up to the high ground, BZZ doing the best he can. Sibe will get up onto the high ground and just about survive. And GPK cannot blink forward courtesy of Misery. Finally, that neutral item will be picked up as it's been sitting on the ground for a while. But the boat and unique are uniquely lacking any magic immunity against all those things. On the side, though, easy pick on a pile I die. They did commit the kisses, though. They need to find more because of this. Chasing, Sibe does... Throw out the X, but 19 T's well and into him right now. He gets dragged back. Ace says one on one with me, boys. Let's go. Chessie activates the BKB. Gonna force GPK to run away. The Chrono's gonna be committed though on the 19 team. Disruption to save the day. Illusion throws out the purge on the Ace though. The boat coming through. Manta is not a good dodge though. Forced up up to the high ground. Ace chasing him right now, but the gust to get him away. Disarm comes out, so Drought can't turn around. On the side of the fight, Misery is gonna be brought down by Vanscore though. Toss across, getting Chessie low. Reinitiation in by BZZ. Does get sliced up, but the remnant fires enough time that Chessie can't finish the kill. Vanscore is gonna be brought down by Xebe. And on the side, GPK chased onto next disruption to save him in the meantime. Chessie does fall to BZZ on the other side of the fight. Buyback does come out from Snapfire as well, and Ace has been juked and jived around this entire fight. Manta trying to move away quick enough. E Blade will actually protect him for a moment. Toss back. TPK says, Where the hell are you going? Get him to get him. Multi shot through. Hook shot back in. Cookie to get him out of the cogs, though. Drag back from the X is going to keep 19 teen inside, though. And Pylite die. Able to bring him down. And with that, we might finally see an end to this fight. And once again, neither team able to really take Roche. Yeah, Roche is very. It's a drought. And right now, that, that's five men. They understand the way this game is won. It's by carrying out the trial. That's why so many of these heroes are building these Heaven's Halberds, these, these items that counter I, 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 I. I mean, he's got the hook shot. He's not down yet, but BZC gets the Aegis. He jumps in for it. Ace is going to chase forward on the van score to punish that move by his team. But it doesn't matter. You got your hands on the Aegis. As long as you don't lose more than two heroes, you're kind of happy with this. BZZ slowing it down. They're going to turn around and bring him down. Faceless Void. Dead for 80 seconds, and all of a sudden, it is the side of five men that need to run away. The purge is thrown out on Xebe. They're trying to slow down the pressure a little bit, but there's no easy way for him to escape. BCC now with the Aegis can play confidently, not caring about his HP pool as they'll close another kill. They even get to keep that Aegis. And Misery might be next here. Whoop! Bye! No, or not. I mean, it's a tanky not boy. Hacking a punch through, through magical damage and... With the imp claw, of course, the one of the hit, hits will be pretty big, and the tree toss. Uh, I mean, he he does deal quite a lot of damage here. And they're looking for Kono Xebe now. Moving in, Sans hook shot straight on top of the draw. The Chrono does connect on the free, but he can't get to the primary target. He has to deal with fan score instead. Chessie arrives to assist though. Illusion's going to be brought down. 19T needs to retreat, but the Vash is coming out. The disarms as well to ensure he cannot turn around. 
and the dives coming through to add to the slows ensures that 19 teen has to stand and fight and the fight will not be favorable at that as three members of unique do get brought down yeah and I asking the permanent question who wants to be dead and is it highlight eye kisses on a misery he also buys some he time. He's getting silent. No, they can't silence quick enough. Ace chasing in. He was going to come out, though. He can't initiate with the Chrono. The egg's going to go on the side. Boat's going to come through. We'll stun on a snap fire, but not good enough. BKB from Chessy try and fight up. BZZ to simulate to dodge. Chrono goes down with the Remnant. He runs into it with the Chrono. And all of a sudden, the damage isn't even going to be there for Ace. They're going to push him away with the cogs. Let's turn around him now. Four stuff to get him away. BZZ silencing the entire team. GPK has now arrived. Hook shot forward onto the Drow to control him up and bring him down. They have finally found the target. They're not done. GPK is next on the menu if they can find him. He's got Blink in a few seconds, but the burns are just stopping him. Moving forward, Ace sees the opportunity. He doesn't really care too much about the damage, but the disarm is what's screwing him. Time walk forward into the X on the GPK, ensuring he can't get away as the torrent locks him on the spot. Starts from BZZ to try and save the day, but I don't know if it's going to be good enough because there's no chance for GPK to get away. Illusion will die on the side of Chessie. They'll run through the tiny as well, and BZZ may have just signed his own death warrant trying to save the day. Ending there. Frozen in time. Looking awkwardly around with her eyes. Yeah, Palette is sort of initiating there onto the SD for a little bit, but it's a level three realizing that it's Whoop. T Bay. Don't think that's the entrance you want. They can toss him back though. Bring him in, kisses to get away. But he's trying to escape. Kunka gonna be brought low, cannot throw out the boat. Boy, can he? The flicker saves his life. X being thrown out on himself as well. Day gonna zap him down. Buyback's gonna come out. The drow is already dead, and the egg is not gonna join her. They get it off. Now they can hunt forward looking for more. BZZ cuts and runs to the south. And they're not going to look for him. They want the easier one. The Chrono's going to go out. GPK down to half HP. The Sans fall off as well. No easy escape as the yours was already used. And the million time illusion is going to be brought down. They'll turn around, look on the GPK. And what might have been Roche is now going to be base. Yeah, and uh, I, I really like kind of what he's doing here. He's just running into the faces of all of these heroes i mean he even went for now the havoc hammer just for <laughs> for maximum tank ability and just the call up. annoying damage i mean and yeah i mean this, no way this is this is kind of the thing that we've seen a, a whole bunch of times like this one position draw ranger as your soul four um yes gpk did have a lot of damage in his you know the, the spells that he was able to cap for uh, survivability it's just that when they both itemize for survival. Yeah, I don't know. I, I, I really I really don't like the, the five-man draft here. I, I think it looks... Yeah, initiation down here on the sit there. Yeah, I'm gonna go for him. The raindrops helping out a little bit. You'd normally be dead by now, but it doesn't change the end result. And Misery himself needs to be a little bit careful because they've got a mango and these crits. <laughs> yeah, the crits. I mean, he's just trying to hide here, but... It will be interesting to see if he decides to go for the eight, eight boots build. Or not. Or seven boots built. <laughs> Don't forget the ball though. The ball is going to be crucial there. You know, if he had all these boots, he'd be able to keep up the 19 team right now. Instead, the salve's going to go off. Power shot is sidestep though. Fan score does front the hit. The resident pulse. I don't think he got the damage. He needs one more hit. He does get it out before the stun's available. However, it will probably cost him his life. 19 team. Ooh. There is a blood seeker in this game. So that very far is a waste. It's like the hardest kill now. Yeah, and now it's also the fact that now Sibir has nowhere to go. Uh, with Misery being up here, they are gonna kind of botch their spells there onto the Draw Ranger, but she's still gonna get kind of low here. She I needs think. to be careful. Rupture as well, and she's just good. gone. That's the level two Shadow Poison for you. And they're not done. BCZ's moving in onto Misery. He decides to back away though. Yeah. And Gold towards that Blink Dagger already, and he's gonna get more money at this rate. Cuts around the back, sees Pylai die. Doesn't want that though. He says, no, 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 no. I want the big kill. Macropa coming out. GPK taking decent damage, but they're going to bring down the Chikiro. Disruption to buy some time. With the focus fire out, they'll be able to punish GPK. And they ping it, 19 teen, but they don't have any way of stunning him. So he will be able to TP to the mid lane successfully. Yeah, I mean. You have to worry about Xibe in the mid lane as well. If he plays a little bit too far forward, considering Blink Dagger's close for GPK. Instead, they want to defend bot. Disruption to buy some time. Into the Remnant. Ensures Illusion should be brought down, but not before he does some damage. Man score is being brought low. He'll die as well. And they're just trickling in maybe a little bit too slow. On the side, Pyrolai die. will die for this. So actually ends up being a two for two exchange in the favor of five men. Well, 
at the same time, they did lose their mid hero. That is indeed the route that he decides to go for. I mean, maybe Misery's SPPK. just really paranoid. He's worried about street crimes. Drow is low. Knows he's going to die. Just wants to see if he can take one with him. But for the clunk of a tree, that is negative. Ice buff down. Illusion. Side steps, but it's going to be burnt out. 19 teams. You use the Phantasm. Misery trying to dish out the damage to the Illusion to bring them down. Highlight Ice stunned up for two seconds, but two tanker to bring down. The turnaround's going to happen. Rupture on the side of the meantime on a Chessy. Focus fire does not finish off fan score, which means he throws out the uh, Soulbind under two. And they're stuck together. Highlight Eye cannot escape. Misery's out of mana as well, so it's going to be awkward to try and retreat from this side. BZZ just whittling down Highlight Eye. We'll be able to close that kill. Yeah, these fights are just not really favoring five men. Uh, they're, they're kind of done. just getting run at, and it's Boards. not going to stop there. Nope. Peace. BZZ is able to sidestep. Remnant connects on the GPK. You do have the slows, but you don't have the stunts. Whoops. Uh oh. Oh. I think they maybe whiffed the timing there. Yeah, just a little bit. Now, Shackle Jesse. Shot. Punishment for Illusion. So, slow him down with the multi shot. That pulls out that kill. Maybe now they can finally get. Ooh, Shackle Shot inside. Jesse moves in, finds BCC, but the rupture comes out in time and he's in trouble. Forced to stand a fight. Ice Buff to try and save the day, but it barely clips the fight and they will lose the Wind Ranger. They need to be careful. Dragon, D-Bay, throws out the Macro Pie. 19 team gets way too greedy here. Should be chased down. Phantom's Embrace will not change the outcome either. They'll stun up at least. Drag in. And that works against GPK. He gets the toss out. But the Ice Buff is there. Ace is trying to juke away from him. But it's not good enough. He's going to be brought down. Ink Spell stun pull up on Xibe. Not going to be enough damage onto him. The push to come out as well. Disruption to try and save the day. GPK is insanely low. Should die in the end. But not before he takes a Jakira alongside him. As Illusion's able to get the kill on Xibe. Yeah. I mean, uh, finally... <clears throat> five men are starting to find at least a few of these kind of counter kills and they are evening it out a little bit you know chessy also getting that that kill onto the ck was it um oh, uh, oh. so they're finding something but the, the the counter kills keep yeah i mean there has been a lot of brawling right and undying of course he is a big brawler but at the same time oh. TPK. Oh, no, the Shack Shot lands. Trying to move in the Avalanche. Went out. Macro Pile. Ice Pile follow up. Connects on the Chaos Knight, but Phantasm's going to be cast. Chasing in. The Blood Rider zone out the fight. 19 T drags them in. Looking at the Shakiro, but he brought in Undying as well. 19 team will die for it, however. An illusion found on the side is also going to fall. A fight that favors five men, but will it for long? Avalanche toss in. GPK causes some havoc. Brings down one. I would have found the second, though. So they get the kill on a chest here. Two for two exchange, but it's not done. BKB forced out of BZZ, and it means he's leaving Van Score behind. With that, you might leave your tower behind. Yeah, Paladai once again with the clutch tombstone placement there onto the high ground. Now there's going to be this double allow to sit in the back in, in, in some of these fights. It's kind of thanks to Paladai. To Who is very deep this time. Fleshgone got off though. Bloodright try and create some space. But the damage is already done. GPK is down. The tombstone favorably placed again. Paladai says, thank you for giving me the initiation. And fan school needs to be careful. If he gets hit by that shackle, he's dead. BZZ once again forced to use a BKB in an unfavorable way. Remnant does connect for Misery though, on point, on the van score. The Soulbind will not change anything about this fight. You can see he wants to rupture, but they kind of encourage it, like, go for it. I don't see what your follow up is if you use that spell. <laughs> Deal some damage now with this smoke. It's gonna be smoke on smoke though, but unique. This is trying to regroup quick enough. Pile I die will go down. Uh, go in rather flesh golem comes out hasn't thrown down the tombstone just yet but now he'll go down damage way too much out of chaos knight rupture on the side on ace bcz chasing him with bkb but it's a runaway bkb i feel like we've seen a few of those already 19 team cooking in the fire needs to retreat in the meantime they will force the fire back out of pile i die fan score is brought down moving on to ace is successful dead for 50 seconds with gpk we're gonna casually run away meanwhile on the side bcz does get brought down by misery three seconds stun out the pile i die they want to try and get that die back out but the heal is big with the creeps nearby 19 team trying to tp away pile i die does die to the stick coming out from gpk as he chosses it in finds the kill four seconds stun in the meantime on a chessy the 19 team i don't think he's gonna get the kill he's gonna die for it it's a team wipe as unique lose all well, five men did need to buy back, did get that dieback occurrence on the pile I died. They'll be feeling... That is also a fair point. Oh. Look at Void Spirit, you know? Spirit yeah, also suggests look souls. at Ace. Well, Ace is gone. Ace is we know, we know, look Rock at that. Level. That's not appropriate for TV. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Finish him off. There we go. Not at this stage, anyway. 
Yeah, unless, of course, there's a double damage on the tiny. In which case, it could get spooky anyways. Well, they ping them out. They know they're shoving in the mid wave with a smoke. GPK trying to spider legs. That gets clipped by the ice path, though. That DD is only threatening if you're able to initiate with it. He doesn't want to use the BKB. The DD is now gone due to the Yules. And they drag him to the low ground, out of position. The ice path follow-up is there from Tibe again. And they're just whittling away at them. Moving in. Sans out. But they're able to get him out with the spider legs and the ink swell as well. 19 Not target any more full health. They'll actually try to go for him, though. Disruption to save the day. Misery moving in, though. Cuts across. They find the kill onto the Grimstroke. BCC forcing the BKB to run away. Rupture being thrown out. Now, Macro Pie and Ice Path going down. GPK looking to retreat away from this. They do get the kill on the Chessie, but the price of three heroes, one of them being your Chaos Knight. And you still have not addressed the draft. Again, onto Misery. I mean, he's got one more like charge. The Soulbind. There's the second one. How are you going to make the draft move, though? t a bit more realistic. But if he gets the cheese off, which he will, he's able to just back away. A lot of damage done. Ace being brought down as well. Aegis has been taken away from them, and now you do not have the Ice Path to protect them on the back. Oh, and Ace, BKB. Force out GPKs. 19 team, hit on two, doesn't have his BKB anymore. Misery needs to back away from this. Did use the Maya Tool Horn, is able to escape. You need to be careful. If 19 team overcommits here, he might go down. Trying to move away, disruption to save the day. Ace doesn't sidestep the science, though, but the BKB from Chessie to chase down 19 team is going to bring him low and kill him off. And GPK, no magic immunity now, needs to escape, but he can't. Will also die off. Misery once again says, Bro, why are these ruptures? What is your problem? What did a voice spirit do to you in a pub game? But look at this. They want more. Pylai die. I mean, he might be baiting them here. They need to be very careful not to get baited hard onto the undying kill. They do see Ace. They go in. Avalanche onto four right now. The Ravage effect coming in. Will allow them to get rid of the undying straight away. Hex on the side onto Misery. They don't want to commit too hard onto him though. But the follow up is good enough. He's down. Buyback comes out from the undying. But for what? You've already lost too many heroes here. He might lose more. T Bay steps up. Avalanche from the low ground. They don't want to go in though. Yules trying to spell off by some time. Macrofire being thrown down as he feels like he's not long for this world. And the Phantasm losing chasing in. They do see Ace, but his BKB is running. They need to be careful on the Chaos Knight. The Ice Path through. Connects onto him. And Ace trying to get rid of the kill in time to be able to do so. Four stuff chasing onto him. BCC trying to turn a fight with the Sword to heal him up. The Hex is going to come out. We'll be able to bring him down with the assistance of GPK. T Bay still on the high ground, throwing out these Ice Paths. But reinforcements are coming. Chessie's back in this. Buyback out from Ace. They see the opportunity to end this game right now. GPK is dead and gone. 125 seconds on the sideline. BCC. Second thing's throwing out the rupture. Just needs to run away. He can't afford to go down here. If they have any chance of maybe coming back into this, they need to buy time because there is no buyback. But considering rupture wants him to move quicker. And he'll just stand there like a friendly neighborhood dragon watching over. This fan score is going to be brought down low but not killed off. Glimmer Cape. Does get him out and the ice path doesn't connect. But Ace doesn't care. He just keeps whittling away at these buildings. Misery moves in. Remnant's going to come out onto the Shadow Dean, bring him low. And that Dispel's going to do nothing for him. He's dead. Buyback comes out. BC has to use a rupture BKB. Meanwhile, they'll chase in and look for the kill on the Misery. We'll be able to find it. Hex out on the two because of the Soul Bind. eBay, not really the primary target you want to go for. Macro Pass, they'll be able to retreat away. And 19 Team drags himself into it. The BKB gets out of to try and run away. Yules will dodge out the damage. T-Bay trying to move, move away, but can't. The Blood Right kills him off. Ace. Is still alive though. Still hasn't given over that Aegis. They say, we're done here, lads. Let's get out. TP out successfully. There's no stopping that move away as 19 teams not able to dish the damage. All the creeps, the blood ride. Right. Are... Oh, yeah, yeah. Shackle shot. Connects on the both the supports. They're trying to follow up, but GPK forced to initiate. They're moving. Misery keeping the supports busy and forced them away, which means GPK is going to be hung and dried. As he will die. Dead for 100 seconds. Misery is extremely low. Will be brought down, but they're going to lose another hero as Van Score falls. On the side, Rupture trying to deal with Chessie. He's able to retreat out of the base. Pilot Dye gets dragged in. 19 teams. BKB running out soon. Needs to retreat away. BKB from BZZ is running out as well. So Yule's going to be there. Ice Path follow up as well. And they'll be able to bring down the Blood Seek. They might even find Illusion on the side as he's not quick enough to move away. He pops the Lincolns, but that's all he's going to do. Disruption to try and save himself. But Pilot Dye chasing him with the Soul Rip will be able to find the kill. BKB from Chessie to run this off. He's going to be able to move away, but Rupture means he has to TP out and he'll be able to do so. Clean cut. Not given over his life. Aegis going to be taken away base, though. The timing on this. Four stuff to get him away from this. Teammate trying to throw them away and save the day. The save from the side of five men is going to be enough. And Ace, with that five second start, they just can't do anything with a 90 team. I think he might go down here. Pilot so die. It's way too much. Just a pilot it. die. Pilot carry. <laughs> like, get out of my face. This is my call. I decide when Ace dies, not you. And even the core is are trying to protect their base because they know what Ace is going to do now. Ice Buff comes out in a 19 team. 
Got Phantasm coming off cooldown, but it won't matter. It's irrelevant. He's dead. He has to buy back here. I mean, Empire with the with the reincarnation talent. Tombstone, there. baby. Tombstone Let's on go. Death. It's going to be another Tombstone. Two. And if he dies now, there's going to be another one. Tombstone. <laughs> <laughs> and another one. And another one. And another one. And another. how do you deal with him? Especially if he splits them up. Pylai die will give his life. Sawbide, now that he's dead, that does free Chessy to move away. These five second stuns. I've never seen them feel so irrelevant. Shackle shot doesn't connect. Chessy does get dragged in, but the GG's there. They already take down the throne. Five men. Despite what may have looked like a shaky game, come back to take a 2-0 victory. Yeah, I think. Not like we're talking about a lineup that's built. Those are four staffs. It's built.